Welcome to the Zen Zone. We have our first new EUC of 2021. We had the illusion of a new King Song wheel, a new King Song Hunter Volt wheel, but I'm pretty sure that was vaporware rendering that kind of just disappeared into nothing. E Wheels actually asked me about that wheel, what I thought of it. The uh, I don't know if you guys saw the updated renderings of the new King Song Hunter Volt wheel that turned out to be not true. It was an amazing wheel. I don't have a picture of it anymore, but it was an amazing, beautiful wheel. Hopefully somebody makes that. I'm not so sure that that wheel is going to happen, but we do. And the V12 doesn't really count because that was a project of last year that's been around for a while. Even though it's kind of trickling out this year, I still count that as a 2020 wheel. This is the first new wheel of 2021. And I think it is the best looking EUC I've seen. Although I don't really count it as an EUC yet because this is a rendering. This is not a photo. Uh, I'm pretty sure about that. I wouldn't bet money on my opinions that I'm going to talk about in this video. I would not put money on it. I don't fully, I'm not all in on my opinions that I'm going to talk about in this video. But we're going to first get into the stats, like the objective stats of this wheel. And my own personal perception of this picture. This is beautiful wheel, the roll bars. It's basically what you would want to see. This is the wheel. Like right now, if I could go to the store and buy this and I had $4,000, I would buy this wheel. Amazing. Modular, meaning you could maybe adapt the batteries, add some batteries, take away some batteries, improve water resistance, improve dust resistance. Here in Vegas, it's not so much of a water issue as much as dust getting in if you're off-roading. And this has off-road painted on it. So, And with the higher pedals and maybe less weight than the Monster Pro, could be viable as an off-roader. It looks like it has somewhat of a knobby tire on that. That might be really fun to off-road. Definitely, man. This is a beautiful wheel. What do you guys think about the look of it, the aesthetic of it, the light? Every part of it is such a beautiful. And you can see the influences from the veteran. It has the same trolley handle, which I absolutely like. This, this is an absolutely beautiful wheel, and I can't wait to see it. I'm pretty sure this is a rendering. And... I really want to see actual photos of the wheel before if I were to put a deposit on this, definitely want to see actual photos of it. I'm curious too. It's strange to me that there's no veteran branding or Leaperkin branding. If you're going to announce this new brand new wheel of 2021, this is the next wheel in the veteran Leaperkin lineup. I say Leaperkin and I say veteran uh, because when you actually get the veteran Sherman, it has Leaperkin. Uh, that's their branding, Leaper Kim. So Leaper Kim, I don't see any Leaper Kim branding on this, which is interesting to me. You think there would be on this announcement, some sort of branding of some sort makes me think it's a rendering. And it makes me think this is not even a real wheel like the King song, which if Marty really talked to Jason about this and Jason is putting out this as being the next veteran, I'm really sus about it. Uh, sus meaning suspect. It just seems sus suspicious to me. Like why? Are you announcing it in this way with a rendering? Why aren't we seeing videos or photo? Why are we getting a rendering? Why is there no branding on it? No e-wheels branding, no Leaper Kim, nothing. And this is what you guys are putting out to generate hype. Very suspect of it. I think perhaps somebody made this and they're hoping Veteran or Leaper Kim will make this. They're like, hey, this is the perfect rendering. Can you guys make this? This is what we want. And it would be easy. Just be like pass Veteran or any UC company an EUC of what you want to happen and then make it modular, all this great stuff. And hopefully they make it. So I think that's where we're at. Maybe this they made this rendering and passed it off to Leaper Kim and Leaper Kim says, okay, we can make this. And if they can, if this EUC gets made, I'm excited. The stats itself, the 22 inch wheel, I really do want a 22 inch wheel. I really want a Monster Pro. The Monster Pro is a phenomenal wheel, but I have the veteran Sherman already and it, I can't justify having both, especially when I do a lot of car traveling, uh, Fitting the Monster Pro in the car would be a little bit more difficult than the Sherman. So that's, I, I do like the smaller size of the Sherman and I could still hit those high speeds. Although I just wish the Monster Pro is so smooth and so stable. And if you put the, uh, an upgraded tire like the Michelin on it, it makes it a hundred times better. The Monster Pro is a sweet wheel and it's actually, you know, out there. It has a 3,600 water. You know, it's out there. It's being improved and you could buy one. I think Rev Rides has some coming in. I'm not sure about that. I th I'm sure Alien Rides, I'm sure Yuko, I'm sure all the companies have the Monster Pro come in. It's been a huge success. Uh, my friends love the Monster Pro. I've ridden the Monster Pro and I love it. This is a 22-inch wheel like the Monster Pro with 
roll bars. Like if you could put roll bars on the Monster Pro, I don't think there's one Monster Pro owner that wouldn't want like roll bars like this, man. It those things are sweet, and on the Monster Pro, it would make it easier to lift up. So. The actual design, I'm judging the rendering here. I love it. I love this wheel. And I bet it's going to look amazing in like drone shots and other shots. I think this wheel will look phenomenal. Love the look of it. And I love the size of it. 2700 watt battery, smaller battery, which doesn't really bother me. My EX is 2700 watt battery and it's perfect for me. I don't even use it up all the time. I'm pretty happy with that. So that doesn't bother me too much. I know some people want to always see more like you always want to see more and yeah that would be awesome hopefully we get there proof water resistance great and the modular maybe with the it being only 2700 watt maybe you could add on more batteries you know put on like a batteries pack saddlebag or something like that it would be sweet i really like this wheel hope it gets made i don't believe that they're very far into making this if it comes out this year if we actually see somebody riding this wheel this year I would be impressed. In my opinion, I feel like this is like an attempt to get some deposits. <laughs> Maybe that's my impression. It's like, why are we seeing a rendering with no branding and you're announcing this as the replacement to veteran Sherman? It is really confusing me. It feels like almost like a publicity thing, marketing. I'm not sure. Something is fishy about it. Something is suspect. Is this a real will? I still remember Jason asking me about the King Song one and like him being super hyped about it. And I think they... They, this is their way of, this is how they engage with the communities, putting out a rendering and passing it off as hype as the next thing. And maybe it is. And forgive me if it is. And it's being made. And we're about to be writing this EUC because it's a beautiful EUC and I love the rendering. It looks, I'm, I can only judge the specs and the rendering. That's all I have been given. And this is my judgment of that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not hating. I really just don't believe it. And I, I feel like. Be and it makes me think, so why are we putting out renderings as a new wheel as a replacement? Just to get hype? To get deposits? What? There, there's a reason, right? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe I'm being too judgmental. And judge not, lest you be judged, right? So <laughs> when you judge others, you automatically get judged back. It's It just happens. So as a YouTuber, if you're going to be a YouTuber and you're going to judge, I'm not even judging others. I'm judging a company. I'm rating a company. E-wheels. Like, would I be willing to put a thousand dollars down on this UC? Not for a rendering. Not like if if you put a deposit down on this, I really think you got suckered <laughs> into it. But uh could be wrong. Who knows? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about. This is a discussion. This is these are opinions. I know we're living like this cancel culture. Now I don't like his opinion, cancel him. Like that's uh, it is strange to me. It's really strange to me. Like when I don't like something, I either don't watch it or don't engage with it. Don't give it any of my attention. Like a troublesome child, if you give a troublesome child attention, they feed off that and they learn that that behavior is rewarded with attention, negative or positive. If you get positive, you beat them. That's negative attention, positive. E either either way, you're rewarding them with attention, right? This is my opinion. These are my opinions. All right. Don't don't think too much of them. But and opinions, my opinions can flow, right? Like I'm, they're not like set in stone. Tomorrow, we may see someone writing this. And I'll be like, oh, man, yeah, there it is. Wow, beautiful. But until then, I'm going to be skeptical. And I'm definitely not putting any money down on this until I see more. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Until next time, stay in the Zen Zone.